Gujarat is one of the chronic drought prone states of India with an average rainfall of 700 mm. Various water bodies across Gujarat in the catchment area of rivers are shrinking and devoid of water most part of the year owing to the disturbed hydrological cycle. Recognizing various issues and importance of rivers or streams falling in rural areas, Rural Development Department, the Government of Gujarat has taken an initiative to rejuvenate rivers and to recharge the groundwater in rural areas with broader objective of ecological and environmental security of the rivers and sustainably conserve adjoining areas in the identified rivers or streams in the state. For this, Rural Development Department RDD took River Rejuvenation Project in financial year 2018-19 Phase 1, targeting at least one sustainable river or tributary in each district. River Rejuvenation Project is implemented by Gujarat State Watershed Management Agency GSWMA, Rural Development Department through District Watershed Development Units of various districts in the state with financial support from Mahatma Gandhi Narega. Under Phase 1 in financial year 2018-19, total 36 rivers or streams covering length of 405 kilometers in 201 villages under this program. To create awareness and sensitize people for this program, some IEC activities like meeting, group discussions, celebration of River Day, exposure visit, inauguration of activities etc. were carried out in the village with active participation of local communities. After identification of river, following steps have been taken. Preliminary village meeting, socio-economic survey, biophysical survey including geological, hydrological and soil related survey and data collection. Collection of secondary data, participatory rural appraisal that is PRA, transact walk, participatory net planning taking into account the traditional knowledge and finalization of activities. Technological and innovative tools have been used during planning and implementation. On the basis of above activities, a detailed project report, DPR, has been prepared for each river or tributary taken up for rejuvenation purpose. The identification of different types of soil moisture conservation work, water harvesting structure is finalized as per sustainability of site. Districts have taken care of local variability, traditional structures and existing structures while planning. The main activities proposed under river rejuvenation are construction of new check dam, check wall and other groundwater recharging structures, repairing or desilting of existing water harvesting structures, plantation, farm bunding or soil moisture conservation activities in the adjoining catchment area of the rivers or streams. Total 1006 main works and other small works planned with total project cost of Rs 80.06 crores with completion of 508 number of water harvesting or storage structures out of 1006 structures storage capacity of approximately 10 lakh cubic meter generated and 727 works of soil moisture conservation and 51 groundwater recharge structures completed which brought additional area under irrigation is about 1176 hectare in the project area due to the initiative of RRP about 235 hectare additional area brought under cultivation. About 3,529 farmers have been benefited so far due to various activities carried out under the program. Water levels now increased in the wells which are falling in catchment area within the lateral distance of 50 meter to 100 meter from the treated streams during the monsoon season in 2018. User groups have been formed to ensure sustainability of the assets created and judicious use of water. Apart from rejuvenation of streams, RRP has also provided employment by generating 6 lakhs per days under Manurega. Taking in the view the encouraging results of RRP Phase 1, Rural Development Department has formulated River Rejuvenation Policy Guidelines 2018-19 with a broader objective to give focus and streamline the river rejuvenation projects in-state.
As per policy guidelines, rejuvenation projects have been prepared for 56 rivers and streams of 24 districts covering 801 km of length in phase 2, that is in financial year 2018-19 and 2019-20. Detailed project reports, that is DPRs have been prepared and approved at district level planning and execution committee, that is DLPEC. Further, the state level technical committee has thoroughly scrutinized the activities proposed in the projects and approved all the DPRs with total cost of Rs. 308.40 crore. Out of the total project cost, Rs. 121.77 crores will be availed from Manrega for the works to be taken up under Manrega and Rs. 186.64 crores has been proposed from RIDF Nabad for the works proposed other than Manrega. Thus, River Rejuvenation Program covered all aspects of water storage, use, harvesting, flood control and renovation of water bodies and revival of river. The River Rejuvenation Project taken up in the state has created huge impact in terms of water conservation, spreading awareness among stakeholders, creation of employment and recharging of groundwater.